Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. Alongside Romy Bean, I am Michael Spencer here at Broncos headquarters where earlier today on Friday, Joe Flacco, Kareem Jackson, and Juwan James all introduced as the newest members of the Broncos. Uh, what'd you take away from the introductory press conferences? It was like introductory, but we feel like this has been, what, a month in the making, yeah. with, especially with Joe Flacco. But, you know, the one thing with Joe Flacco that I really got is he kept kind of saying, I don't have a chip on my shoulder from being let go from Baltimore. But I got the feeling he did, and, yeah. I, and I like that. There's a fire, there's kind of a, a surliness almost to him where, you know, you feel like this guy wants to come and prove, hey, you shouldn't, should not have gotten rid of me, kind of like when Peyton came here. Um, and so I, I, I liked getting that from him. That to me was the biggest takeaway, especially from Joe, but from all three guys, you could really tell they're excited to be Denver Broncos. Now, look, of course, that always happens, right? You're talking about a guy in Jawan James, who's now the highest paid right tackle in the game. Why wouldn't you be excited about coming? to Denver and then a guy you had a chance to talk to in Kareem Jackson he's excited to be here and excited to play for Vic Fangio well and he is similar to Joe Flacco where they've only played one team their entire career he played 10 years with the Texans and so for both of them it's kind of you're almost rookies all over again but you can tell he has got that I know we don't talk about the no fly zone but let's just say the no fly zone mentality he looks like he's just gonna fit right in with Will Parks with Chris Harris he has got that feisty mentality you can tell he's definitely got a lot of personality and with Vic Fangio we keep talking about non negotiable is tackling and he was saying he loves being that kind of presence on the field and that's exactly what the Broncos backfield needs. He was asked about that hit on Philip Lindsay which John Elway has referenced two different times yes. now. He did it once on Broncos TV and then did it again in the introductory press conference before he introduced Cream. Somebody asked him how does that rank on your hits? He said that's probably I have a 1A and 1B so that's probably 1B referenced another type of hit like that. Um, did he apologize to Philip Lindsay? Have we gotten to the bottom of that? You know what's funny I said have you met any your teammates and he said he met Phil earlier so I was like, did you apologize? He met Phil in October and, right, <laughs> introduced he, himself and he said no he, you know he had such nice things to say that I respect him so much in his path and everything so I don't think he apologized. <laughs> I mean, but you know what? If, you, if you're going to hit like that, you shouldn't have to apologize. Right, right. And we'll see who else he lays hits on in this coming season. Uh, and then for Juwan James, his wife from Thornton. So a, a bit of a homecoming. She was here today. Her mom, who works at Legacy High School, uh, was also here. He's not from here, but you got the sense that he's really happy to be here, happy to be surrounded by, uh, by family, and now happy to be, obviously, a member of Broncos country. One other note today, the Broncos re-signing tight end Jeff Hireman, so he will re rejoin uh, Jake Budd as the top two tight ends on this roster heading into the 2019 season. John Elway saying that he wasn't done yet in free agency, so we'll wait and see how the rest of that shakes out. But that's going to do it for us down here at Broncos headquarters. For Romy Bean, I'm Michael Spencer. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com.